Okay, so now we are looking at the determinant and Kramer's rule for 11.3. Let me make sure I'm recording the right screen here. Okay, okay. So the determinant of a square matrix two by two, you're gonna multiply almost like you're cross multiplying, you're going to go down. So for example, our matrix in example one, we would go negative three times eight, which would give us a negative 24. And then we would do a two one times a one two, which would give us 24 again. And then we're going to take those two products and subtract them. So negative 24 minus 24, negative 48. Okay, and then for a three by three matrix, here's our formula. But if you look at the visual, this is how you're going to do the visual. You're going to copy down the first two rows. And then you're going to go diagonally down from the top left down. So you get the product of these values. And then from the bottom left up, add those together, subtract the sums. So here's our example. Okay. So we're going to go 6 times negative 5 times 1, which should give us a sum of negative 30. Then we're going to do 2 times 4 times 1. That's going to give us a sum of 8. And then we're going to do negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3, times 3, negative 9. Okay, we're going to take all of those values and we're going to add them together. So negative 30 plus 8 plus negative 9. Is going to give us negative 31. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the diagonals and go from the bottom left corner up. So we're going to go negative 1 times negative 5 times negative 3. And that should give us a positive 15. Then we're going to do 3 times 4, which is 12, times 6 should give us 72. And then we're going to do 1 times 1 times 2, which is going to give us 2. We're going to add these together. We're going to have 15 plus 72 plus 2 would give us 89. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two sums and subtract them. You're going to do this one first, so the first sum that you got. So I know it looks like this is on the top and you want to subtract top to bottom, but you're actually doing bottom to top. So you're going to go negative 31 minus 89, and that should give you negative 120. Okay, and then let's check that in the calculator, finding our determinant in the calculator. So we're going to go to second matrix, which is going to be right here. We're going to go to edit. We're going to make this a three by three matrix, and then we're going to enter these values in. So we have six, two, negative three, then one, negative five, and four. And then one, three, one. Enter. Then we go back to the home screen. Second, quit. And then we want to go to matrix. So second, matrix, over to math. We want the determinant of wherever we put that matrix. So second matrix, we put it in A, negative 120. Okay. So here is, this is just another way to do it, but I actually think that the first way is easier. So if you would like to do that here, you can do kind of grouping. Let me give you guys these two practice problems. Try these determinants real quickly, check them in your calculator, and then we'll go over them. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at these. 
So for a, I'm going to go ahead and multiply 2 times negative 12, and that is going to give me a negative 24. And then I am going to do 16 times negative 4, which off the top of my head is giving me trouble. Thank you, negative 64. And then we're going to subtract the bottom to top. So negative 24 minus negative 64. So that double negative there should turn into a positive, giving us 40. All right, and then we'll take a look at B. So we'll do 0 times negative 1 times negative 1, which should be 0. Then we'll do, oh, I didn't write them. Hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. I've got to rewrite these first two columns here. Okay, so 0, 3, and negative 5, 10, negative 1, and 8. Okay, now we can do this. So 0 times negative 1 times negative 1 is going to give us 0. Then 10 times 4 is 40, times negative 5 should give us a negative 200. Okay, and then negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and 8 is going to give us a negative 24. So if I add the three of these together, 0 plus negative 200 plus negative 24, I'm going to get a negative 224. All right, and then we're going to go up. So we're going to go negative, negative 5 times negative 1. That's going to be positive 5 times negative 1. Negative 5. Okay, then the next one. 8 times 4, 32 times 0, 0. And then 1 times 3 is 3. Oops, I used the wrong color. 1 times 3 is 3, times 10 is 3. That's going to give me here. Okay, negative 225. Sorry, negative 224 minus 25 is going to give us negative 249. And then we'll just check these in the calculator. I did take the liberty of putting them in already. So second matrix math determinant. And I put the 2 by 2 in B, so I'm going to do determinant of B, I get 40. And then I'm going to do it again for matrix A. And I get negative 249. Okay. So the reason why we need to know how to do this by hand and not just putting in our calculator is because sometimes you will get something like this. You get a problem where you're given what the determinant is, and then you have to find a value inside of the matrix. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to solve the problem like you would a normal problem, okay, but now you're going to create it into a, an equation. So you're going to go negative 7 times 3, which gives us a negative 21, and then we know we're going to take that and we're going to subtract our product of 11 times x, which this time just happens to be 11x. And that should equal our determinant, 12. So we set up our equation. Then we'll solve for x, so we will add a 21 to both sides. Negative 11x equals, and we'll divide by negative 11. And that should give us a negative 3. And then we can check that just by putting the matrix back into the calculator and then finding the determinant. So if we go to second matrix and 2 by 2, I'm going to go into B. I have negative 7 
negative 3, 11, 3. Second quit, second matrix, math, determinant, and I want determinant of matrix B. And I get 12. So I don't usually do the two by twos in the calculator just because it takes longer to put in the calculator than it does to actually do the math. For the three by threes, I do check those. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. What I'm going to do is rewrite it with my, uh, <clears throat> my two rows on the outside. I'm going to have a four, a two, a negative three, and three, zero, there's my x, zero, one, negative one, and then I'm going to rewrite the first two rows. So four, two, and negative three, and x. I'm not sure why this is delaying. I mean, hopefully that helped. Okay, so now let's go through our multiplication. So I'm going to go four times zero times negative one. That's just going to give me zero. Then three times one times negative three. That should give me negative nine. And then zero times two times x. Zero. Zero x or zero. Just zero. Okay, so that is going to give me the sum here, which is negative nine. Okay, then I'm going to go up. So we're going to go negative 3 times 0 times 0. That's going to be 0. Then x times 1 times 4. What's that going to be? 4x. And then negative 1 times 2 times 3. It would be a negative 6. Negative 1, yeah, negative so then all of this is going to equal 4x minus 6. Okay, so then I know if I take negative 9, I'm going to come down here and go negative 9 minus 4x minus 6, that's going to give me my determinant of 5. And be careful here when you're subtracting, because if this is more than one term, you're going to want to put a parentheses on it and then distribute it. So this is going to be negative 9, then minus 4x plus 6 equals 5. Then combine the negative 9 and the plus 6, which should give you a negative 4x minus 3. Add the 3. Here we get negative 4x equals 8. And then we're going to get an x equals negative 2. All right, let's check it. I'm going to put it in here. Put it in my matrix A, which is already a 3 by 3. So 4, 3, 0, then 2, 0, 1, then negative 3, then our x, negative 2, and then negative 1. And that should give me a determinant of 5. There we go. Okay, and I do know, I think your video quiz question is one like this. For this, for this quiz that you got tonight. All right, let's look at Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule is a way of solving a system of equations two by two. I like using the identity rule or identity matrices to solve systems of equations, but I'm going to show you this as well because it's part of the curriculum. All right, um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to create three matrices or find the determinants of three matrices that look like this. So the determinant of X or the D of X is the determinant of the matrix in a system of equations, your constants, and then the um, coefficients on the Y's. So it's everything except the X's. doesn't include the X's. The Y's doesn't include the Y's. So this would be the 
coefficients on x, and then the constants, and then d is going to be the x's and the y's. So for example, here's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to use Kramer's rule to solve this one. I got to keep this here so I can see what the formula is. All right, so this is going to be your A's, the X's. The Y's are going to be your B's. Coefficients are going to be your C's. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find B of X, which is going to be the determinant of the matrix of first your C's, so negative 1, 1, and then your Y values, your B's, so 7 and 8. Okay, so if we go ahead and find that real quick, you have negative 1 times 8, and then 1 times 7. So negative 1 times 8 is negative 8, minus 1 times 7, 7, that's going to give us negative 15. So d of x is negative 15. Okay, then we're going to find d of y. which is going to be the determinant of first the A's, so the coefficients on X's, so 5 and 6, and then the C's, negative 1 and 1, so let's find those. Okay, so we're going to go 5 times 1, 6 times negative 1. So that's going to be 5 minus negative 6, that's going to give us 11. So dy is 11. Okay, then we're going to do just our d, which is the matrix of your x's and y coefficients. So 5 and 6, and 7 and 8. So that is going to be 5 times 8, 40, minus 6 times 7, 42. which is going to give us negative 2. So then we're going to have D is negative 2. Once we get each of those values, we can go ahead and find the solution to the system. So the X value is going to be D of X over D, which is going to be negative 15 over negative 2. So positive 15 over 2 or you can just say 7.5. And then your y is going to be d of y over d, which is 11 over negative 2, so that's going to be a negative 5.5. And then you would say the solution to the system is your x value 7.5, your y value negative 5.5. Okay, let's look at identity matrices. Okay, so in square matrices, again, they're square. There, for any value of n, there is an identity matrix having ones down the main diagonal. So if you look here, this is your main diagonal, and zeros elsewhere. So your ones, these are your ones down your main diagonal. And then zeros are elsewhere. So that would be your identity matrix for a 4 by 4. It's three dots on mine, too. I think that's just the way it's converted over to this program. But they're just dots. They should all be ones or just, yeah, or zeros. They should all be zeros. I'm not sure why they did that. There we go. I was looking at that and I was like, that looks weird. But yeah, they should be ones down the diagonal, zeros everywhere else for your identity matrix. Find the identity of something, you would multiply the identity matrix with that square matrix. Okay, 
Okay, so if we look at this, so you have show that A times the identity matrix would give us A. So if I took this matrix here and I multiplied with this matrix here, I'm going to get matrix A. I'm not going to go through the calculator and do that because it takes too long, but that's what the identity matrix is. You would just put these in your calculator, multiply them together, and that would give you just A itself. So it's just like multiplying something times one. Okay, we are going to use matrix inverses to find the solution to systems of equations. So what a matrix is, or the inverse, is going to be this. One over the determinant of that matrix, then you are going to switch the D and the A, so you're going to switch these guys, and then you're going to make these guys negative. Well, hard to remember. You can also do this in your calculator, but for by hand, here's what we would do. So, for example, um, let's go through here. So, for example A, if I wanted to find the inverse, I'm going to first find the determinant. Okay, so the determinant is going to be 2 times negative 1, so negative 2, minus 1 times 3, 3. So negative 5 is my determinant. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this formula up here. So I'm going to sort of find the inverse. I'm going to go 1 over the determinant, negative 5. I'm going to multiply that, say, by this inverse here. So this is going to be, I'm going to take the A and D and switch them. So I'm going to take the 2 and the negative 1 and switch them. And put the negative 1 here, the 2 here, and then the C and the B, I'm going to switch the signs. So this is going to be a negative 3, this is going to be a negative 1. And then I'm going to multiply each term by negative 1 fifth. So basically what that's going to give me is negative 1 fifth times negative 1, positive 1 fifth. Same thing down here. Negative 1 fifth times negative 3 would give us a positive 3 fifths. And then negative 1 fifth times 2 would give us a negative 2 fifths. And if it were a 3 by 3, find the determinant, put it over 1, same thing. They all switch here. The middle one, the middle term, stays the same. But you're just going to be doing this with the two by twos. Now, you can do this in your calculator too. So you're going to enter the original matrix in your matrices. So make two by two. And you have two, three, one, negative one. Go back to your home screen. You're going to grab the matrix first. So second matrix A. And then you're going to hit just this button the, where you didn't hit second first. It's to the negative 1. So that tells me find the inverse. And then it gives you the decimals. But if you wanted them as fractions, go math, fraction, fraction. There you go. All right, let's look at the next example. So we'd first find the determinant. So you have... 3 times negative 4, negative 12, minus 2 times negative 6, negative 12. Negative 12 minus negative 12 is 0. So if I went through into this formula, I would have 1 over 0 times, this would be negative 4, 3, 6, that would be a positive 6. This would be a negative 2. Tell me what's wrong with this. Why can't I do this? I can't have that, can I? No. So since I have a determinant of 0, there's no inverse. Okay, so if the determinant is 0, there is no inverse. Because you can't divide by 0. You can't have that in the denominator. And it'll give you an error if you go through and put that in your calculator.
All right, ready to see something cool? You can solve a system of equations using matrices. So what you're going to do is you're going to make matrix A, which is the matrix of the coefficients on the variables, and matrix B, which is the matrix of the constants, and then you're going to multiply them. So you're basically going to do this. You're going to make matrix A is going to be 3, then negative 1, then negative 2, and 7. So the coefficients on x and y. And then matrix B, 18, and negative 50. You're going to find the inverse of A. And this is all calculator work. I'm not going to ask you to do this by hand. Okay, you're going to go A to the negative 1 times B with your calculator. So let's do it. Okay, so second matrix A, 2 by 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, and 7. Then quit. Then matrix B is going to be a 2 by 1. And we're going to have 18 and then negative 50. Then go to your home screen. And then you're going to grab matrix A. You're going to hit that X to the negative 1 button. And then grab matrix B. The second matrix, scroll down to B, enter, gives you the answers. X is the first one, Y is the second one. So 4, negative 6. And you can test that. 3 times 4 minus negative 6 gives you 18. And then negative 2 times 4 plus 7 times negative 6, negative 50. So it works. Now, with a system of equations in two variables, again, it's probably faster just to solve it, but you can always do this. The three line, the three by three, okay, you need to be able to do both because I might ask you to do one and show your work, but you can always use it to check, okay? And if it's a multiple choice question, I'm not going to know. But if it is a short answer and I say show your work, that doesn't mean say write this down. That means show your work like in 11.1, okay? But let's go through and do this one. So... I'm going to go straight to my matrix, and I'm going to have a 3 by 3. Yes. Yes. All right, so for our coefficients here, I have a negative 7, and then a negative 1, and then a 4. The next are I am missing the x, so what am I going to put there? Zero. So zero, three, six, and then negative three, six, and eight. Oops. Negative seven, negative one, four, zero, three, six, negative three, six, eight. Okay, so I get that entered. Second quit. Then I'm going to do my matrix of my solutions. So I'm going to go down to matrix B, edit, and this is going to be a 3 by 1. I'm going to have negative 32, negative 21, and negative 39. Then second quit to go back to my home screen. Second matrix, enter. Hit the X to the negative 1 button. Second Matrix, scroll down, B, 3, negative 1, negative 3. Which means the X is 3, the Y is negative 1, the Z is negative 3.
Okay, and again, just check that. So negative 7 times 3 minus negative 1 plus 4 times negative 3. That should give you negative 32. It does. Okay, then you don't have an x here, so ignore that. You have 3 times your y, negative 1, and then plus 6 times your z, negative 3. This gives you negative 21. And then negative 3 times 3 plus 6 times negative 1 plus 8 times negative 3. And that should give you negative 39. Like that. So you can check all of that in your calculator. So try this last one by yourself in your calculator. Okay, so we'll take a look at this problem. We're going to put our coefficient matrix in matrix A. So I've got 2, 1, 3. 1, negative 2, 1, and then negative 3, 1, negative 2. Let me just check that. 2, 1, 3, 1, negative 2, 1, negative 3, 1, negative 2. Then second quit. Then second matrix. I'm going to do my second one. So edit and then go down to B. And that is a 3 by 1 still. And we're going to have 1, negative 3, negative 4. And then I'm going to go back to my home screen, grab matrix A, so second matrix, then enter. I'm going to hit the X to the negative 1 button. Then second matrix, scroll down to the second one, B. And you get 4, 2, negative 3. Is that what you guys got? All right, good. And you can always plug it in to check as well. Um, but I'm going to skip that because we've been, we all agreed that we all got that. And that should be it for 11.4.